and it's time now for our Village of Rosemont intermission interview. The Village of Rosemont, it is all here. Prior to the game, Billy sat down with tonight's referee, Samantha Hiller. Thank you, Jason. Uh, boy, what a special night tonight is. History in the making here at Allstate Arena. First uh, officiated referee in Illinois professionally uh, in the American Hockey League. How are you feeling? Excited. I I couldn't be happier to be here, and mm -hmm. I'm just ready to get on the ice and get going. So you're local. You're from the Chicago area. Yes. How about tickets tonight? A lot of requests, <laughs> a lot of friends? Yeah, I have uh, I have a lot of family, friends, coworkers in the stands, sure. a lot of mentors, um, people who have uh, been there for me the whole time and mm -hmm. watched me get to this point, and I'm grateful for all the support I've got here. You grew up, uh, in fact, I think you were born in Boulder, Colorado, obviously a hockey area, a nice uh, area to do a lot of sports, but yeah. uh, just take us through, uh, I know you fell in love with the game, you talked about your mother, you two, watching uh, the National Hockey League, I'm, I'm sure, uh, on any night uh, that they were playing, and you started playing the game of hockey at the age of seven. Take us back then, and uh, why did you fall in love with the game? Yeah, I, um, I think I had a birthday party when I was seven, it was ice skating, and uh -huh. um, it was just being on the ice was a different experience for me and I stepped on the ice and I immediately just loved it and I used to go to every public skate I could go to and um, skate with all my friends playing mm -hmm. hockey became just uh, my main focus you know that was every day I just wanted to be on the ice I wanted to be skating so you know I took that passion and it carried over into officiating mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like I'm my best self when I'm on the ice so position did you play? Defense. Did you play defense? Yep. I think I saw you in a, pic a picture of a goalie equipment. I'm not sure if that's... Oh, gosh. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I think when I was 10, I stood in for a goalie. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. So no. you were a Colorado Avalanche fan, and you became an ice girl. You got the opportunity to go to every game, and uh, yeah. home game at least. How was that? Um, it was phenomenal seeing the game from that Oof, perspective, wow. just being up on the glass watching, uh, watching every game I could. And it was really a unique experience. Mm -hmm. I met a lot of awesome people, and... You know, it brought me some opportunities in life, too. So I, I'm grateful for the experience, and it's just a different perspective of the game. So, Matthew, you mentioned passion, the word passion. You played hockey all the way to college, and in college you said you retired because <laughs> your passion was officiating. Yes. How did that develop? I went to a camp right before college. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of officiating development camps, mm -hmm. and went to one of those camps and just decided, you know, this is, this is my goal. This is my dream. And... Um, I knew they said I could travel, they said I could meet a bunch mm -hmm. of cool people, and that's exactly what happened, and it's been a very rewarding career. Yeah, it's, uh, it is, and it's a lot of stress, I'm sure, and pressure, but <laughs> it'll be very cool. I can't yeah. wait to see. Uh, obviously, the last couple of uh, years or a year and a half with the pandemic has been very tough, and it's tough to officiate games when there's nobody playing. I did read, though, you guys had some virtual meetings with uh, a guy named Wes McCauley, mainly, who <laughs> I really enjoy, one of the best yeah. officials ever. Uh, how did that go through that time when you really didn't have a chance to work very much, but also to learn from some of the best? It was very unexpected. Mm -hmm. I did not know they were going to pull that together for oh, us. Cool. And so when we had our first Zoom meeting and started talking about communication, mm -hmm. teamwork, um, different aspects of the game that really we wanted that perspective from Wes and Steve and some of the other guys sure. that came on and talked to us, it was really cool to have that kind of one-on-one -on -one experience with them, uh, learn from them, mm -hmm. gain that knowledge a little bit, and you know, try to apply it in our games today. The game of hockey, whether you're fishing or playing, is all about adrenaline. Uh, how about your daily job? Firefighter, <laughs> yeah. paramedic, Lake Forest, correct? Yes. Uh, how does that uh, work every day? Um, I love it. I mean, mm. it's just another passion of mine, and sure. I get to go hang out with a bunch of friends every day, and we, you know, I, I enjoy my career outside of hockey as well, and um, I've just always wanted to do EMS mm. and fire, and mm. so... It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely an adrenaline rush. You could say I'm almost yeah. a junkie between that and hockey, but uh, it's really, every day's different, and I really enjoy the challenges that come with that as well. Well, like sports, there's injuries. Uh, you yep. coming off a broken leg not too uh, long ago. <laughs> yeah, that did happen. It did? Everything's yeah. good? Yep, everything's good. It actually, I feel better skating than do I do, like, running and yeah. walking and stuff, so... Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's almost like natural for me to just be out there. So. <laughs> Lastly, I have to ask this question because I'm a music fan. I've watched you on <laughs> Facebook and there's numerous uh, postings by yourself playing the acoustic guitar yes. and singing some songs. Yeah. Uh, your love 
to do that and for that. Uh, it, it, watching you, it, it's kind of cool, but I know you're a metalhead too, I read. That's your favorite music. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> uh, you have to figure. Yes. No. So how's that? Here's a picture of you. Have that. Just getting <laughs> yeah. into that. Um, yeah. Calming. I, I love it. And it's kind of like, a, I think with all the things that I do between my careers and hockey and mm -hmm. fire and it's just one of those things that I get to relax and settle into my creative side and mm -hmm. kind of decompress a little bit. And uh, I do love it. I love music. So that's been something I do on the side and kind of brings me, centers me, sure. uh, and gets me ready for my next days and everything. That's so cool. I like it. Samantha, we're so pleased to have you here. Uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, again, history in the making. Uh, have a great night. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we'll I'm be happy back. to be here. Good. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the first intermission after this.